Podcast Awards Take One. yourself in green screen. Hello and welcome to the first ever Green Screen Film Fest Awards. I'm your host, Johnny Pazvolsky, and whether you're watching on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook or Twitter, if you're watching because you love short films, because you're one of our amazing filmmakers, or you just love everything that is green screen, welcome to the family. What a year. 2020 has been challenging for everyone, but through it all, our creative hearts have soared. And tonight, together, we celebrate that explosion of creativity. Green Screen Film Fest was born out of isolation. Overnight, filmmaking became a huge challenge, and the toughest challenge of all was, and still is, location. But how do you tell authentic stories if you can't access the places you've written about and dreamed of for your films? you turn to a technology as old as the special effects industry itself, the humble green screen. Its unique style and feel and the crazy freedom it brings you. And you embraced it. We have been blown away by the talent and diversity of films submitted from around the world, from Italy to Iran, India to Ireland, Australia, the UK, USA, Switzerland and the Ukraine. So thank you, filmmakers. We asked you to see yourselves in green screen, and now, tonight, we see you. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Gotta fly. Join Connor Connor where the big boys play. And here they are, our incredibly talented finalists. Please give them a round of applause from your lounge room, cafe, bathroom, wherever you're watching right now. Right. Nice one, studio peeps. Okay, let's do it. It's time to meet our seven awesome judges. Please welcome. Jim Titus of Pretty Little Liars, Eat Brains Love and Superior Donuts, Louise Barnes from Black Sails, Reprisal and soon to be seen in Colonials, Mike Barker, creator of the hit animated TV series American Dad, Sandy Greenwood from Killer Elite, writer, producer and star of Matriarch, David Goh, producer of Rabbit, Moonrock for Monday and Woken, award-winning actor Susan Pryor, The Rover, Top of the Lake, Animal Kingdom, and Kriv Stenders, director of the stunning feature films Danger Close, The Battle of Long Tan, and a well-known favourite, Red Dog. We are super lucky to be in the company of these great artists. Thank you for being here, judges. We'll see you soon. Let's jump into it with our junior awards. These are filmmakers up to the age of 15. The rules across the junior and open categories are the same. A film can be up to seven minutes long, use green screen for at least 50% of its running time, and it must embrace the 2020 theme, a moment of light in the dark. Our junior finalists are the 3Ds. 
a moment of light in the dark and a light in the night. This award is about seeing a glimmer of excellence and the promise of a filmmaking future. The prize is $250. And over to you, Jim and Louise, to announce the winner. OK, Jim, let's do this. The Junior Encouragement Award goes to... The, the 3Ds. 3Ds! Fantastic. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually, uh, so it's, uh, I actually won. Damn, that's, that's actually unbelievable. <laughs> I'd like to thank every single person who participated and had the time to actually help, uh, not only just me, but for each one of you out for making this amazing and sensational uh, project that we had. Thank you all. Congratulations, Yuki, awesome stuff. And now for our best junior film. This award goes to the film that blew our judges away in terms of story, technique, and of course, use of green screen. The prize for this one is $500. Let's go back to our judges for the big one. Mike and Louise, would you do the honors? The best junior film award goes to... A Light, Light in the, the night. night. Yes! Thank you so much to Green Screen Film Fest for giving us this opportunity. First time using green screen, so that's such a good thing for us to be a finalist. Yeah. We had such a good time filming this in the holidays and it really was fun. Yeah. Yes. It was really fun. Congratulations to our winners, A Light in the Night, 3Ds and all our junior filmmakers. Here is Best Junior Film, A Light in the Night. Things are getting serious. 
Welcome to the open category. And thank you, filmmakers, for investing your time and artistry. We have loved your films, your bold use of green screen, and unique interpretations of our 2020 theme, A Moment of Light in the Dark. First up, Best Actor Awards. The prize for each is $500. Let's go to Susan and David to announce the winners. Our Best Male Actor finalists are Vanya Kapitanovich for Echo, Bo Jones, Smurf Pills, Harrison Rook for Rise and Shine, and Andrew Steele for Heroes for a Day. Congratulations to everyone who, who was involved. I think we all learned so much from your explorations. It was fantastic. And the best male actor um, for the inaugural Green Screen Festival is... Harrison Rook. Okay, I've had about enough of this. Oh, I haven't finished. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Get up and prove it. Look, I'm not getting out of bed, so move on already. I can't bear to look at myself. Bear. Wait, legit? Holy moly. That's okay. I wasn't expecting that, actually, to be honest. I have to thank literally everyone on the project because this has been one of the most craziest years and I feel like they deserve the credit as well because it was originally just for my media project. They didn't have to come and help out and we all made like this family on set in my garage and so it's just crazy to think that so many people wanted to help and then we ate, we couldn't we let everyone help because of the restrictions but we even thanked them anyway and it, yeah it just massive applause goes to them. The finalists for Best Female Actor are Katrina Villarreal for Finding Light, Holly Jones for Tea and Hot Flushes, Liz Hoffman for Tea and Hot Flushes and Kim Jackson for Heroes for a Day. And uh, let me peel this one open. And uh, the winner for Best Female Actor is Holly Jones for Tea and Hot Flushes. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my mind. I keep on getting hot flushes and I, I'm itchy everywhere. And my hair's falling out of here and it's like it's attaching into there. And, and I'm too scared to, to laugh or cough because a little bit of weight. very unexpected. So I, I feel very, very honoured and very excited. Um, I came to Ben and Jenny three weeks, no, it was like four days before the deadline. Just went, let's shoot something really quickly for green screen. And they just picked it up and ran with it and wrote something amazing and directed it and just got a team together and we had so much fun. And the main thing was that we wanted it to be a really great story and we wanted to have fun again after being in lockdown for so long. And 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 it was just, that was the, at the end of the day, we just had so much fun. So it, yeah, so thank you. Thanks for letting us have heaps of fun. Congratulations, Holly and Harrison, on your brilliant and beautifully honest performances. A little surprise, due to an overwhelming response from the music video world, we've added a special award. We call it the Green Dot. Now this is an award that goes to an entry that kind of opened our minds in a special way, a catalyst to something new and inspiring that we didn't have a category for. So now I'd like to call on my festival co-director, Jody Manning, to do the honours. And the Green Dot goes to Battery Operated Orchestra for Lady Megawatt. Congratulations. Oh my God. Wow! Oh my God. That's amazing. Wow! Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my God, I'm blown away. Thank you so much. That's made our day. Oh my God. We are blown away. This competition is an absolutely fantastic festival and a gathering of creative ideas and, and we were just really happy to be a part of it and, and bringing oh, just all this inspiration into one place. It's such a positive thing in these times when we all have to stay locked up. Totally. Roll on the next one. Freedom of imagination. Thank you. We're just 
Our next award lies at the heart of our festival, best use of green screen. With access to green screen on almost every laptop and smart device out there, we see green screen filmmaking as more than just a technology reserved for the big budgets of Hollywood. It's the opportunity to dream big and tell powerful stories, whether you have a full production crew or simply your mobile phone, laptop and a piece of green fabric. Green screen is your portal to the world and beyond. It's your location committee. Let's go to Mike and Sandy to announce this auspicious award. Best use of green screen, the finalists are Tea and Hot Flushes, All Hearts, Smurf Pills, Rise and Shine, So So Sun, Nervous. The best use of green screen award goes to... Oh, it looks like we have a three-way tie here. May I? So, so, sun, nervous, all hearts, and oh my God, rise and shine. Oh, wow, congratulations. Yeah. What the heck, man? Okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, that's, that means so much, honestly. Making this video was sort of my lifeline during those months when I was quarantined because I was sick with coronavirus for uh, about six, six or eight weeks or so. And so this was something I had taught myself animation and 3D animation and had really kind of dug my heels into like green screen. I'm completely honored. Thank you guys so much. Thanks so much for this. I really appreciate it. It was uh, a really fun project to make. Um, my friend Chris and Freddie, who are so, so sun. Then I want to say thank you to Charmaine and Cass, who are the great dancers. Um, and lastly, I want to say a massive thanks for my wife. Thank you. Oh, oh man. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's really cool. Again, just thanking everyone and thanking you guys too, because. Holy crap. How incredible, a three-way tie for best green screen. Congratulations, rise and shine, so, 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 sun, nervous, and all hearts, unbelievable. Okay, folks, this is the big one. Let's go to Criv to announce the winner of Green Screen Film Fest 2020. The finalists for best film are Echo, Smurf Pills, Tea and Hot Flushes, Finding Light, Rise and Shine. I have the, the envelope here, the uh, magic envelope. Open it up. Okay, uh, the best film award goes to, oh, it's a tie. Um, the best film award goes to Tea and Hot Flushes and Rise and Shine. Get out of town. <laughs> what? Um. Wait. Re really? That's that's genuine. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That's that is amazing. That is that's tremendous. Oh. I actually don't have anything to say. I'm like, I'm in a, what do you call it, like a? Um, 
Wow, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. That's, oh, uh, I think you're going to have to sit with that for a while. Um, it's huge is because I've always been wanting to do something like this and my dream one day is to do, you know, big things with film. And so just like the first thing that I prob properly do, just that. Thank you so much for the festival. Um, just how inspired I was by the festival, by um, the, the spirit at which uh, it was created to inspire filmmakers to, to go out and have fun and use their imagination. And I remember saying just how uh, interesting it was to to think about building or constructing a story, thinking about it in terms of the visual effects and, and how you, you would implement and use the green screen. Wow. That, that's awesome. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to sit with that news for a while. It's, uh, I, yeah, wow. <laughs> well, that's it for the Green Screen Film Fest Awards for 2020. Congratulations to all our filmmakers and a huge thank you to our judges from around the globe. It has been an honour. All films are available on Instagram and YouTube. Please don't forget to jump online right now and submit your vote for the People's Choice Award. Finally, Green Screen Film Fest will be back in 2021. Our theme will be announced in the new year. We cannot wait to see you again. Here are our winning films to play us out. Peace and love to you all. Dream Green. Dreams are forgetful realities that shape our own. Some people dream to fly, some dream for freedom to do whatever they want, others dream to escape the real world. Everybody loves a good sleep. You can wander to some far off place and realise that when you wake up, Damn, am I still sleeping? Shut up. It's one o'clock, man. Perfect. I'm trying to tell a story and I'm sleeping on the job again. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Anyway, dreams can influence your reality in many ways, only if you choose them to, which means you can make your dreams come true. But you have to wake up to see how. Get on with it. Get up then. Man, please excuse me, I talk a lot. Who am I talking to? The air? Do I think I'm talking to ghosts or something? There have to be some pretty stupid ghosts to be listening to me. What, am I annoying? Yeah, a little. And I only get up if I shut up and let myself sleep. How does that work? It works with shutting up. I'll expose myself. Welcome to yesterday's sleeping. There's me leaning in towards a beautiful girl. Only to realize... Shall I continue? No. Okay. The night before I last. said no! School uniform policy? Okay, I've had about enough of this. Oh, I haven't finished. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. Get up and prove it. Look, I'm not getting out of bed. So, move on already. I can't bear to look at myself bear.
Wait, I haven't dreamed of it. Ah, oh, I see. Clever, but it, it won't work. Am I sure? Yes. It has worked before. No, it hasn't. All right. It hasn't. Got that? It will. Look. If I make myself like my mother's sheets, I will. Oh, I still have my mummy's sheets. They keep me cuddly, cozy and warm. Look, I thought you said dreams can come true. But none of this happens in reality. You don't have to be. Oh, really? Yes, really. Because if I remember, this dream woke me up five nights ago. It doesn't need a woman now. Watch, ladies and gents. This one will knock me dead. The big finale. Can't you just... Look, can't you just let me sleep? Actually, this isn't so bad. Uh, what night did I say this was again? I did say it would knock me dead, did I not? What do I mean? As much as we like to dream and wish for happiness, as you can see, not everything is wonderful, just like it is in the real world. How we deal with our nightmares makes us who we are. Dreams and nightmares prepare us for what's beyond our beds. Fear in a dream, however, makes the fear stronger. So if you can protect yourself, stare any challenge right in the face, keep your purpose close to you, continue fighting, and resist what comes to your head, you're a champion, in here and out there. Thank you. No one's at the table, you know the rules. So, exactly what is going on? Well, can't we just catch up for a casual cup of tea? We haven't caught up for a casual cup of tea ever. So? More? Did you ever lose your powers when you, you know, I think I'm perimenopausal. Ooh. I feel like I'm, I'm losing my mind. I keep on getting got flushes and I, I'm itchy everywhere. And my hair's falling out of here and it's like it's attaching into there. And, and I'm too scared to, to laugh or cough because a little bit of wee. And, and now I, I can't even, Oh, 
pause. What was yours like? Oh, it was lovely. I grew an inch and it was all over in the day. I knew this was a mistake. Oh, oh my God. God. Come on, we were having a lovely time chatting. You always do this. You make it into a competition. I'm telling you my most embarrassing... There is nothing embarrassing about it. Great, thanks, Mum. Lovely catching up with you. Let's do it again in 500 years. No, 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 stop. <laughs> stop. Can we just start over and I'll be less myself? I would lo like that, thanks. Come on, it's not all that bad. Really? Oh, there are so many benefits. Oh, like what? Well, thoughtless sex without fear of birthing mutant spawn. I mean, nothing's off the table. Elves, minotaurs. Besides, you might not be losing your powers. You might be gaining new ones. <laughs> new ones? Yeah, right. Well, come on. Why don't we try a few gentle exercises? Mm. Come on, up again. Oh. We'll see if that helps you. Why don't you try your wand? <sighs> Relax. Just move, move those books over there. Oh, 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 oh. so, 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 sorry. <sighs> Breathe. See? That's good. Huh? Oh, oh, it's textbook. Oh, it's oh. not a problem. Maybe. This could be a problem. Oh, Mum. Oh, God. I, I can fix this. No! No! Oh, that is new. Thank you.